Welcome to my horror DVD collection. I'm going to quickly run through most of them, not everyone. Uh, we've got the Ari Aster films here, followed by the Jordan Peele films. Um, Phantasm is only three films, not the complete collection, but it's what packaging you get. And Jaws is the collection you want if you want to be a horror guy. Uh, 20 weeks later, as they, that's followed up in the very last one. The Conjuring. If you go on my letterbox profile, you will see me rank them. Uh, Rosewood Lane, watch that for Rose McGowan, nobody else. Um, Brightburn, one of the best Superman, like superhero horrors. Let's see. Um, we've got Pet Cemetery, that's really worth the watch. As well as, you know, Quiet Place and the Ouija films, they are really good. Happy Death Day and Happy Death Day 2. Watch Happy Death Day, it's fantastic. Last horror film I bought thinking I was buying the last horror movie, but I wasn't. But it's a happy mistake, I like both of them. Um, the Quiet Ones, Ready or Not, and The Loved Ones are in my top 10 favourite horror films. I definitely recommend them, as well as the Hellraiser trilogy, as you've just seen. Black Christmas is my favourite Christmas-themed horror it's the original 70s one. I would recommend Lights Out and Banana Splits movie. They are fantastic. Halloween 2, that is, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. But the person, when I bought the DVD at the CEX, gave me the wrong case. Um, Zombies is the Asylum movie. Alien Quadrilogy, Trilogy of the Dead. It Chapter 1 doesn't have any writing on the case, and I don't know why. Like I said, there's the Halloween films, one to um, the 2018 one. Don't have all of them. I'm working on it. I'll be buying Amazon stuff and unboxing it on this channel. That's a bunch of bad horror films broken up by scanners. In 20 Days Later, The Witch, Stephanie, is one I really recommend. It's a really good film. Code of Chucky is my, one of my favourite Chucky films. I will be doing a list on it.